Bonjour tout le monde. Aujourd'hui c'est mercredi le 4 septembre. Speaking of September, I'm going to have you listen to La Chanson, your song of the week, one more time, where you learn the months of the year, janvier, février, mars, avril. Um, also, we're going to look at those in within Le Calendrier. Um, you are going to listen to your first person spécial interview today, um, and that is with my daughter Victoria. It's actually from a few years ago. She's a little older than this, than you will see her in the uh, video, but it, all the stuff still applies. It's still, we can still use it to learn some of this new vocab. So what you're going to do is you're going to watch the interview and you're going to copy the write and discuss or the summary into your cahier and you're going to skip lines because just like we did with our branch ou crocodile story last week, we are going to be uh, translating that next week. Um, and then you have your weekly video for today. Okay, so let's take a look at le calendrier. Aujourd'hui, c'est quel jour? What day of the week? Lundi, mardi, mercredi. Aujourd'hui, c'est mercredi, et demain, c'est quel jour? What day? Jeudi. Demain, c'est jeudi. Aujourd'hui, c'est mercredi, demain, c'est jeudi, et après-demain, c'est... Vendredi. Vendredi. Okay. Aujourd'hui, c'est mercredi. Hier, c'était mardi. Et avant-hier, c'était. Oops. Giving you lots of think time on this one. Lundi. Okay, so there's where our days of the week are um, in terms of where we are in the week right now. Lundi, mardi, mercredi, jeudi, vendredi, samedi, dimanche. Okay, so that is um, the days of the week. Maintenant, quelle est la date? Actually, let me go ahead and put this word in, word in for you. Quelle which can be spelled like this, or with an extra L, E, means what? So when I asked you, quelle est la date aujourd'hui? I'm asking, what is la date, the date? Quelle est la date aujourd'hui? Aujourd'hui, c'est mercredi, Le and I think I mentioned this before, but in case you didn't catch it, um, we do not capitalize our days of the week on Francais. Typically, they are going to be lowercase. There are times stylistically that they get capitalized, but for the most part, they're lowercase. Same with the months of the year. Aujourd'hui, c'est mercredi. When we talk about the date, we have three elements. Le the number, and the month. So literally, the 4 September, le 4 septembre. Aujourd'hui, c'est mercredi, le 4 septembre. Okay. Demain, quelle est la date? Demain, c'est jeudi, Le 5 septembre. Jeudi le 5 septembre. Et hier, quelle était la date? Hier, c'était mardi. Le... I'll fix that later. Le 3 septembre. Okay, so what I want you to get out of this is that you are 
when you say the, the date, you are always using these three elements. Le number month. Le 3 septembre. Le 4 septembre. Le 5 septembre. Okay? Um, donc, voilà le calendrier, just to get a little bit of, of review in with those days of the week and a little practice with our months of the year. Okay. So you have another video to watch. As I referred to earlier, you were going to be seeing me a few years ago with my daughter a few years ago, and I think we both look a little different now, but um, you're going to be hear me, hearing me ask her some questions. Those questions can be found on the next slide. Como tu t'appelles? You'll hear her answer with je m'appelle. Tu préfères blank ou un autre nom? So I'll ask her, tu préfères Victoria ou un autre nom? Par exemple, est-ce que tu préfères Victoria ou Vicky? And to answer that question, she'll say, je préfère. And then lastly, tu es en quelle année? Tu es en quelle année? And you'll hear her answer, je suis en année, and then a number. Um, for you all, you're going to answer with, je suis en année huit. Je suis en année neuf. Je suis en année dix. Je suis en année onze. Je suis en année douze. There are people in this class from all those different grade levels, so I wanted to make sure I told you how to say each of those numbers since we've not yet officially learned numbers yet. Um, so you're going to hear me asking Victoria these questions. You'll hear her answering these questions, and then in this little summary paragraph, you hear, see, me talking about her. Aujourd'hui, c'est mercredi le 4 septembre et la personne spéciale s'appelle Victoria. So I actually put this together in this video. So um, you should have all the information that you need from this video. And in our the video that you're making for today, you are going to be using a few of those items. You're going to be introducing yourself, saying je m'appelle, whatever your name is. Um, you're also going to be answering this question, tu es en quelle année? So when you answer that question, tu es en quelle année? You're going to say, je suis en année, either huit, neuf, dix, onze, douze, depending on what grade you're in. Um, so I'm going to just do an example of what your video should sound like. I'm going to pretend that I am an eighth grader for the purposes of this video. Bonjour, je m'appelle Madame Michon. Le mot de passe, au revoir. Tu es en quelle année? Je suis en année huit. J'habite, je lui dis, je touche la tête. Au revoir. Okay, so that's what your video is going to sound like. Yes, you do have to repeat au revoir a couple times because you already said it as your mot de passe, but I want you to get in the habit of saying that at the end of your videos as well, so I'm going to have you repeat yourself. There's nothing wrong with repeating yourself when you're learning a language. Okay, say two, that is it for today. Um, you don't have anything more to do with this personne spéciale deal. Um, once you have written your write and discuss or your summary into the back of your cahier. There will be a quiz on this tomorrow, a listening quiz, but you don't have to worry about that yet. Okay, say too, that is it for today. I will be available for office hours, Michon French Online on Google Meets from noon until 1230. So if you need me, I will be there. Merci, au revoir.